You've seen photos come to life before, but not like this. Emo is the new AI on the block, and it's revolutionizing the game, making every other attempt look like a mere prototype. With its ability to infuse any still image with voice and motion, Emo is setting a new standard for digital animation. Prepare to be amazed as we dive into how Emo is reshaping our expectations for interactive media. All right, so how does Emo turn a still picture into a moving, talking video that looks so real and keeps the person or character looking just like themselves over time? That's what we're diving into today. I'll break down what sets Emo apart, how it operates, its cool tricks, plus the good stuff and the not so good stuff about it. All right, let's break down what Emo is in simpler terms. Emo, which stands for Emote Portrait Alive, is this cool new AI system that can make pictures look like they're talking or singing just by using a single photo and some sound. It's really pushing the boundaries of how we can make videos that look super real and can mimic the way humans express themselves. Section point where we're sort of, you know, redefining how we interact. Traditional ways of doing this often miss the mark, not quite capturing how unique everyone's face moves. Emo does something pretty smart to avoid these pitfalls. Instead of relying on complicated steps like making a 3D model of the face or trying to map out all the facial features exactly, it jumps straight from the sound to making the video. It uses something called a diffusion model, which is an AI method that's great at making images look lifelike and natural. This model listens to the audio and then figures out all the tiny movements your face would make to produce those sounds. And the results are amazing. Videos made by Emo look incredibly real and full of life, showing emotions and movements that feel just right. So just how impressive is Emo? Let me break it down for you. It is seriously cool. It's not just about making videos where people are talking. Don't cry. We don't need to cry. It can make them sing, too, and in all sorts of styles. Whether you need to bring to life a face with a full range of emotions or want someone to look around naturally, Emo has got you covered. It keeps the same vibe of the person or character throughout the whole video, no matter how long it is. Plus, it isn't picky about who it animates. It could be someone super realistic, a character from your favorite anime, or even a 3D model, and it works with any kind of voice input, actual speech, singing, or computer-generated voices. The cool part is you only need one picture. Forget about hunting down a bunch of photos or videos to make something awesome. One single image is enough for Emo to work its magic. It actually nails the subtle details of how people talk and sing, bringing animation so close to real life movements. It keeps the essence of the character consistent, even when they move or change expressions in different ways. It's like you can recognize them instantly, even if it's your first time seeing them. And the emotions, they come through loud and clear, making the voice feel genuine, even if it's not originally theirs. In short, Emo is an incredibly flexible and potent tool for crafting videos where people talk or sing. Now let's delve into the technical components that contribute to Emo's success. Emo is composed of various modules that synergize to produce fluid, stable, and lifelike motions. The process starts with the audio encoder, which extracts acoustic features from the input audio, such as pitch, energy, and emotion. These features are crucial for driving the generation of mouth shapes and head movements. Following this, the reference encoder comes into play, encoding the visual identity of the reference image, including aspects like face shape, skin tone, and hairstyle. This ensures that the character's appearance is consistently maintained throughout the video. The core of Emo is the diffusion model, a pivotal module that synthesizes video frames from the audio and reference features through a reverse diffusion process. This model, having been trained on a vast data set of talking head videos, is adept at creating realistic and expressive facial motions. To enhance the temporal coherence and stability of the video, the temporal module processes frames in groups, effectively smoothing out any potential jitter or flicker. The facial region mask is another critical module, focusing the generation efforts on key facial regions such as the mouth, eyes, and nose thereby improving the detail and quality of the video, especially for lip syncing. Lastly, the speed control layer adjusts the pace of head movements to match the audio input, preventing unnaturally fast or slow motions and ensuring a more natural and consistent movement. Now, this AI model opens up a wide range of potential applications, from entertainment and education to telepresence and beyond. 
You can make your photos talk or sing, or even create your own vocal avatar. You can also use emo to enhance your communication and expression by adding facial animation and emotion to your voice or text messages. You can also use it to create immersive and interactive experiences by animating historical figures, celebrities, or fictional characters. It can also be used for social goods such as preserving cultural heritage, promoting language learning, or raising awareness. Emo is a game changer for content creation, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we communicate and interact with each other. But is emo really the best out there? Well, according to the researchers, emo is superior to the current state-of-the-art methods in terms of expressiveness, realism, and character identity preservation. Unlike others that might give you something stiff or odd-looking, emo's got the skills to create a wide range of believable facial expressions. It also avoids the common pitfalls like weird glitches or changes in the video that can make it look fake or off. Plus, emo's really good at making sure the person or character you start with looks like the same one throughout the video, something other technologies struggle with. The team didn't just make these claims without backing them up. They put emo through its paces with tests and studies to see how it measures up. They used a bunch of different ways to check its performance, including something called expression FID. This test looks at how closely the video's expressions match up with the emotions in the audio it's paired with. Emo came out on top with the lowest expression FID score, meaning it was the most on point with its expressions. They also got people to watch the videos and give their thoughts on how natural they seemed, how well they conveyed emotion, and how accurately they kept the identity of the characters. Again, Emo won out, earning the highest marks for making users happy with what they saw. Now, is it flawless? No. There are a few bumps in the road for emo. Sometimes the videos it creates might have some weird bits or glitches, especially if the picture or sound it's working with isn't super clear. And there are moments when it doesn't quite get those little details right, like a quick wink or a smile. If someone's turning their head a lot or wearing something like glasses, emo might not handle that too well. These issues mostly come down to what the system has learned from and how it's built. But the folks behind Emo are on it, trying to make it better. They're looking into ways to give users more say in how things turn out, add more types of characters, and make it even more interactive. It's still a bit of a work in progress, but the future looks bright for Emo. Keep in mind, Emo is still evolving. The brains behind it are working tirelessly to fix any flaws and expand its capabilities, ensuring it only gets better from here. And that wraps up our video for today. I really hope you found emo as fascinating as I do. It's seriously one of the most mind-blowing pieces of tech I've come across. I'm eager to see where it goes from here. What about you? Thinking about giving it a whirl? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this dive into emo and want to keep up with all things AI and tech, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.